I'm here with Will. <laughs> Fine. Different to how how it once would have been in, in a tip. No. Sorry, can we start, start that again? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, are we are we good to go? Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm a chemical and environmental engineering student here at UQ. I'm here with Bev, a uh, lecturer from the School of Chemical Engineering, and we're here to answer some of your questions. Oh, we're on. Ah, okay, great. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think I have the first question. Okay. So, Kaylin, why did you decide to study chemical and environmental engineering? Yeah. Right. Well. I've always had a passion for uh, sustainability, um, so I definitely wanted to do something something environmental. And uh, throughout high school, I was really interested in maths and science, as well as just general problem solving. So engineering seemed like a, a natural choice. And throughout my studies, I've developed quite an interest in the area of the energy sector and the area of sustainable energy. And so chemical and environmental engineering fit really nicely into that space. So yeah, that's why. My turn. Uh, who should study chemical and environmental engineering? Okay, well, it's a good question. Well, I think you're obviously a prime candidate, or you're, you're someone who's uh, one of our students, but I guess engineers typically are creative thinkers, problem solvers, and they have an interest in that, interest in maths and science. And then on top of that, chemical engineering is uh, for those students who, I guess, have a particular interest in chemistry. And the environmental side, sort of a particular interest in solving some of the environmental problems in the world. So. You know, really we're learning lots of skills that equip students to take on and to take challenge these very challenging problem, environmental problems in, in the, around the world. So for example, maybe climate change, uh, sustainable processing, we're looking at the circular economy where we take uh, recycle materials back to make useful products, which is what chemical engineers do. Okay, so next question, Caitlin. Why did you choose the University of Queensland? Well, I, I grew up in Brisbane and I spent a lot of time at, at UQ's campus throughout my high school years and I was always very impressed by the uh, resources and opportunities available to, to engineering students here. So when I decided that I wanted to pursue engineering, it was, it was uh, my first choice. It was natural, really. And so what is a typical day like for you at UQ? Um, I think it, it's very different from high school. Uh, at university, you have a lot more flexibility. Your schedule is a lot more irregular depending on the classes you're taking. A typical day for me would probably, I, I come to, I come to uh, uni in the morning, I attend my lectures and my tutorials, sometimes practicals in the, in the laboratory. Um, and then I'll spend time in the library and trying to get some of my study and assignments out of the way. Spend a bit of, a bit of time with, with friends at some of the cafes and, and uh, facilities around the place at UQ and then I'll generally head home, do a, do a bit of exercise and uh, try to get, get a bit more work done during the evening. Is it a, a social? Do you have much of a social <laughs> life on campus? Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Um, I actually, funnily enough, uni's probably where I see most of my friends on a regular basis because um, we're all here uh, together studying, studying similar things with similar interests. I've also spent a lot of time uh, taking part in activities that are run by the Chemical Engineering Student Society. They have lots of great events, um, both social and professional, that are really good for meeting new people, um, getting to know them better, and then also preparing you for, for work as well. So next question for you, what do you love about your degree? First of all, it's quite a challenging degree, but that's one of the things I, I really enjoy about it. I think it really gives me the chance to kind of test everything that I'm learning um, to the maximum. I, I really enjoy the systems thinking approach uh, that we use on an everyday basis. A lot of the techniques that we use technically are really interesting, but then a lot of the areas that we can work in are, are quite inspiring and um, have a meaningful impact on, on people's lives. So the combination of all those factors, I'd say. Okay, next question for you. What work experience do students need to get career ready? Okay, so in the engineering degree here at UQ, every student must complete 450 hours of professional practice and this is a requirement of our Engineers Australia accreditation. So the good news for students is we have a dedicated employability team in the faculty, so they really help students to get ready for um, placement experiences and job opportunities. And we also have very strong industry connections with lots and lots of different uh, industry sectors and different partners who are looking to engage with us and with our students. The employability team has really helped me find a lot of those opportunities throughout my studies. Um, so it's definitely a, a resource you should take advantage of while, while you're here. Mm. Okay, next question. Uh, 
are there any exchange opportunities? Well, I can actually answer this one. I, I went on exchange um, in the second semester of my third year to McGill University in Montreal in Canada. And this is one of the best experiences um, of my degree. It was a really, really great developmental experience, both on a personal level and a professional level. Um, Bev actually helped me uh, a lot in getting ready for the exchange. In engineering, we, we work very closely with academic advisors to help arrange a study plan and help make sure your subjects line up. So it's definitely an opportunity that's available to, to students in chemical and environmental engineering and the engineering faculty in general, and I'd highly recommend it. And I'd like to add to that that you know we that we have lots of opportunities for students to go on exchange. So over 180 different institutions in over 40 different countries. So it's a wonderful opportunity to see the world, to travel, and to study.